Hello and welcome to the preview for the 2018 Middle East Regional Conference. I'm joined today by the banker's deputy editor, Joy McKnight, to discuss some of the key themes from this year's events. Joy, thank you for being here. Thanks. Hot on the agenda this year is the future of payments, and in particular the, the, the role that technology is playing in disrupting sort of the payments uh, market as a whole. Um, in the Middle East, we've seen some very exciting developments in Saudi Arabia and the UAE from regulators, from banks, and from other players. But just from a bigger picture perspective, what kind of impact is sort of technology having on the broader payments landscape? I think it's completely disrupting payments in general. If you think about the big tech trends, which is like blockchain or distributed ledger technology, artificial intelligence, uh, and that includes machine learning and deep learning, but also open APIs, which are application programming interfaces. Those three trends are making a huge impact on payments in general. So as we move forward then, and also we're looking at sort of real-time payments as well, um, what kind of role can technology play in addressing issues around sort of fraud and financial crime com um, um, com com compliance uh, when it comes to sort of real-time payments? So I think this is an area where artificial intelligence can really make a difference, and that includes, let's say, deep learning, uh, machine learning as well. Um, because if you think about the high volumes of digital payments that are going through, you think about faster payments, which is only maybe under two minutes, uh, you really need uh, more than just a manual eye looking at behavioral uh, patterns within payments and things like that. And so artificial intelligence can actually take that huge amount of data and process it much quicker and actually get out in front of the fraudsters. Okay, so all of the investment, all the focus right now is on AI and its potential for, for growth there. Yeah, exactly. And I think another area could be blockchain, but that's maybe a bit more nascent um, in its development at the moment. Okay, and, and finally, Joy, obviously, again, a big topic this year will be around sort of cyber security and the market in the Middle East expect, is expected to double uh, between now and 2022. So it's a, it's a growing concern for, for banks and the community as a whole in the region. Um, we've seen, obviously, in, in, in years past, some uh, um, new regulations around cybersecurity in some of the key markets in the Middle East, including Oman and the UAE. But when it comes to, to sort of cybersecurity in banks, I mean, what role do you think that regulation plays in the cybersecurity market versus kind of the responsibilities on the industry itself. How does that sort of balance out, do you think? Well, I think it's a two-pronged approach. And I do think it's, uh, it's, it's not unsurprising uh, that the regulators are looking at this area and really trying to e get their head around it on one level, but also make sure um, that they have the safest financial system possible. Because if you think of the sort of the role that the uh, you know, the banks and the financial system plays within an economy is huge. So it's not surprising that the regulators are trying to do something. But on the other hand, I really do think that it comes down to um, the banking industry itself. Uh, and there's a lot of initiatives that are going on in terms of even cross-border sharing of information and things like that. And SWIFT itself has launched its community uh, cybersecurity program, which really sort of gets quite a high level of cyber awareness, cyber um, hygiene it's called, um, in order to, to have the whole network really um, come together to make sure that everyone is safe. Because to be honest, you're only as safe, safe as your weakest link. Okay, well thank you Joy, that's an important point there. It's the community approach to cybersecurity, and uh, I look forward to learning more at this year's Merck in Dubai. Joy, thank you.